here and welcome back to another truly bedrock live stream how are you guys doing tonight hopefully you're doing fantastic we got archangel and kaz being the very first persons here we also got ourselves a fred hello fred and salt on the diagonal welcome back we got fireball streamlabs fazzo lord along with alex and gregory liz and specter we got Husky in the chat along with Milk Dog Banquet and DFC. Welcome back, DFC. It's good to see you. Once again, I ban using the buttons. WSD for moving. I can only use A. I can only move left. Okay, fair enough. That's that seems fair. I'm I'm fine with this. Anybody. Anyway, we are gonna be playing on the truly bedrock server tonight. And we're gonna be building some animal farms, as is the title of the stream. If you can't read, well then now you know. <laughs> Hello, Lantern and Darkuro Ruby, Pico, and we also got Potato, my twins, and Exile Jester. Must not be a very good Jester then. <laughs> we got Who's Torch. Hello there, Jossie. Joshi. Can't say words. And Bonsai Stamps. Hello. So RTX should actually be working tonight. Is it lagging out the stream? I did not start Streamlabs in uh, administrator mode or whatever you call it apparently that's supposed to fix it it definitely is maybe a little bit framey let me know let me know ages since truly bedrock i'm pretty sure i streamed on truly bedrock like the stream before last which is technically an age an age is not well defined just an age let's jump down a hole shall we I love it so much. <laughs> Careful not to hit the beacon. Gotta jump down the base at the start of the stream. Break my bed in action. I haven't started it yet. I haven't started it yet. We're here at the beginning of the stream. We can do we can do non ban in actions at the start of the stream. Wow, I definitely cleaned up my inventory bef between uh between streams. Absolutely did not just log off at the end of last stream and then log on at the beginning of the stream. Definitely have done things on Truly Bedrock in between streams, I assure you. <laughs> I wouldn't not do things off camera. Uh, Joshi, thank you for the prime month, or the prime sub for seven months. Welcome back. What happened to the slimes? We don't talk about the slimes. RTX is a little framey. Yeah, it's not as bad as it used to be. Minus Acrobat, good to see you again. Welcome back for, f uh, where'd it go? 46 months? Oh my god. How long is tw tw that's over four years? Oh my god, bruh! <laughs> four years. How are you doing tonight? It's good to see you again. Uh, we got so got Beast resubscribed for 13 months, so just over a year. Lots of subs happening, anyway. <clears throat> need to clear my throat so we can talk better. So, we're gonna be building a cow farm over there, and then we're gonna be building a sheep and well, just a wool farm over there, I suppose, and then that's gonna give us wool. And it's going to get pumped straight up into that thing. Now, the issue is... Uh, we only got one cow. Where'd it go? Damn it! We have no cows. <laughs> I swear! Oh, no, here he is. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's really dumb. Can he not jump out of that? Or is it the snow layers? I really thought we lost both our cows for a second. Why is he not tied up? We got pigs. I guess we'll, we'll make a pig farm, too. Uh, jeez. Jeez. Working at the fair right now? Oh, that's pretty cool. It's kind of slow. Is it fair season? I'm not sure. That seems pretty fun, though. Do you get to go on the rides? Cow's mooing along. Yeah. Anyway. Ridiculous. I do need to do the ban in action. So for the next minute, I can only press A. No W A S or no W S D. Only left moving. Only left moving. So yeah, there, there's going to be a sheep farm over there. There's going to be a cow farm over there, and then we're having ourselves one cow. We have no sheep's. So I need to find a place in the world to get some sheep's from, and we also need to figure out how to get our cow out of this particular situation where where'd he go he was just there i just had the cow houdini cow did he die where where he could not have gone that far it's literally been 10 seconds since we just saw him it must have died 
There's no, there's no drops down here. Where did it go? Oh my god. I can't make this up. It's just Houdini cow. Seriously, where, where did it go? I climb a mountain or something? <laughs> Moudini! It's Moudini! It fell down another hole. Where'd it go? Oh my god. I th it took a long time to get that cow up this mountain. We just had- There he- Oh my god. Okay, I need to get a lead for you. You run away way too far. And you have no manners. And you smell of elderberries. I don't have a lead. I have things to make a lead. Look at this. Professional Minecraft. You get your slime block, you break that down in slime balls, you get your string, and then do I, can I make that in the inventory? Do you need a cra you need a crafting table? Okay, it's a good thing you always carry wood on you. Bam, look at that. Insta crafting table, insta leads. You're not going anywhere, mister. No. Okay, now I gotta clean all this up. Great. Don't kill the cow. We should have some slime balls in there. It's a very useful thing to have. Or just put the leads in there. It's also a useful thing to have. A boat with a lead to bring it up the hill. Um. Maybe. Just bringing them on a lead is usually fine. Don't die. Don't do it. Okay. Jeez, man. Someone should name the cow. We have no name and items. Name and items are banned. Y'all use all the levels. Until we get more levels, name and items are banned. <laughs> no name and items for you. You guys used it and abused it to the fullest extent. Anyway, I do have a bunch of leads down here in the storage, so let's go get those. <laughs> you could name the cow Subdesloy. We do have that. That is an available option. Where do we keep leads at? You would think they would be somewhere useful. Where I could remember what chest they're in. Okay, if you were a lead, which box would you be in? I would be somewhere in the explorer's area. Like this chest right here. Perfect chest for a lead, but no. I know I made a bunch of these stupid things at one point because I'm always running out. Yeah, I, I'm literally going to make another stack of these things. Because, why not? We're going to put some into this chest right here. So that we there we always have some. And then... I think that's just the best place to have them. So we're just going to leave them there. We need a derpy name. I got 1,000 levels. We're not spending one level more this season. Unless we get more levels. <laughs> That is the hill that I will die on. <laughs> okay, so we need to get more rockets as well. So, oh, man, we've done this before, but like... Our animals despawned. Which is annoying. Pro tip, don't let your animals despawn. We're spending all my levels. You already spent like 40 of them. Okay. Easiest place to get an animal. You would think it would be like the nearest green area. Maybe. Somebody? Oh. I, I. Can we put it back together? There's another one. Oh my god. Somebody came over here just to murder my cows. This is, this is my property. Probably. I don't, I don't know. Nobody owns it, so I'm going to claim it. They killed my cows. There's a chicken. I do not need a chicken, actually. If this was bingo, I would be needing the eggs, but this is complete. Hey, there's one cow. Okay, great. I just need this dude, and then we need to find some sheeps. That wasn't as painful as I expected. Sometimes it gets really painful to find these things. That dead tree is just hanging over the edge of the cliff. That's cool. I'm saying I didn't do anything. Can we put it back together? Well, it's an earnest question. It's a video game. You should be able to reconstruct things. Like, you can put everything else back together if it breaks. Oh, hi, another cow. We should be able to get sheeps here, right? Moudini. I need the levels. We do have that giant box of, uh, there's a wolf. We have that giant box of XP bottles. Oh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh, another cow. Look at that. Piece of candy. This is actually a great area to go for animals. Okay, we're going to back away a little bit. And that way, hopefully, more stuff spawns. This is the bridge from the last time we did this. Hey, Mad Lad, I meant to reply to your video, but I, I got back into the office, like, literally two minutes before stream. I had to, like, just devour pizza. <laughs> yeah, hopefully uh, the video today does does something good. If you guys haven't seen it, I released RTX Bugs Part 2 on the YouTube channel. Go watch. Many good. I guess. I don't know. Hopefully. Doesn't seem like RTX is the most popular of, uh, you know, flame wars about minecraft right now but it's an important one it's like a flagship feature that they've kind of just like let go completely should we just take these cows back and then come back for a sheep because i feel like these guys are taking up the mob cap yeah let's just do that it's only a small track up a giant mountain making a moo, moo farm yes we are making a psychotic moo, moo farm Oop, that's a hole All oh, right, mountains. Why were these added to the game? They're so annoying. I mean, I love mountains. Mountains are great. They definitely don't steal my cows. Wait, what? Mhm. Mm Go back for sheep later. Oh my god, how did he get lost? Bye, lead. Okay. Do not fall down there. You have one job in life, and that is to follow me wherever I go. This isn't a cult, but we're like two steps away from it being. Okay, are you guys getting up here all right? We could we could have a cow cult. I, I would be fine with that. Cult of infinite leather. For many item frames. And paintings. Oh my god, paintings. Oh, I know you make those out of wool, don't you? Never mind. We're going to have to make a second cult for sheep. This is probably the least efficient way of this mountain. <laughs> At least they bounce up. They don't need to like, actually walk. You can just bounce them up a little bit. According to a former graphics dev, most of the people who initially worked on RTX have either left Mojang or were relocated. Yeah. They have a very limited amount of devs that are still qualified to work on the future. Yeah, that makes sense. It's definitely been dropped pretty hard. Um, compared to, like, any other feature. I don't think there's any other feature quite like RTX in Minecraft where Mojang specifically, like, made a giant deal about it. Like, there's updates, and of course, you know, they hype up every update. For better or for worse. Uh, but specific features is not something that we've seen really hyped up before. To the extent that RTX is, and the amount that they just dropped it and have barely said anything at all about it since it released is kind of incredible. Okay. Now we got four cows. <laughs> Me and the cows going home. Wish it could go on consoles. There's no reason it can't go on Xbox Series X and S. Like, it was literally on Xbox Series X. And then it wasn't. No, I don't want to unlead you guys when I put another one on there. I just want to add another cow to the pile. Hold on. Wait. One of you is not leaded. Wait. Hold on. You! You're not leaded. There we go. Okay. We got to go actually build the farm now. So hopefully those guys stay there and they don't like die or despawn or get struck by lightning. Because oh, that would be my, my luck. That would be my luck. Like, I think PS5... Probably has the ability to run ray tracing. Because it has ray tracing capabilities. Like, that's one of the main flagship features of that console, too. <laughs> Same for Series X. Uh, so, they should, in theory, be able to put it onto PS5. But they haven't. Because Mojang is bad. No, just because reasons, probably. Probably logistical reasons, like how Mad Lad was saying. 
uh, Person Twitch and Omar, along with Marshags and D13 Blue Bananas and Lolo Pro, along with a couple others. Thank you for the follows, everybody. Welcome in. Also, Exiled, thank you for the uh, the bitty. <laughs> uh, Jake Star Wars, thank you for the follow as well. What about PS5? It should have ray tracing. RTX. Uh, we gotta go. Uh, put a iron into the beacon. Geronimo! Ow, okay. Ow. <laughs> Boing. I love the slime floors. I really wish they would bounce you higher, though. Apparently, Entity PBR was on the roadmap and even partially working after they released RTX two years ago. Apparently, even the entire render back end was fully functional on Xbox Series X at one point. That's crazy. I wonder why they dropped it so hard. It doesn't, it doesn't really make sense. I was talking to a dev and, uh, they, they know that people who have RTX is a very, very, very small amount of the player base. So they're kind of working on bringing, uh, Render Dragon to all platforms first, so that way all platforms get some sort of uh, visual improvements and upgrades. And then maybe once that happens, we'll see some stuff of RTX. But I think Render Dragon still needs a lot of work. So we'll we'll maybe see. I don't know. Either way, we definitely need some some work. And then another dev was kind of saying the same thing. So it just seems like RTX is super on the back burner until they get Render Dragon. And it seems like the visuals team is pretty stretched because they have the old rendering engine, which is still on Switch. And then they have Render Dragon and RTX. So the amount of players that there are for RTX, it doesn't warrant additional development time i mean it's it's hard to make an argument to spend a bunch of time developing for rtx when so few people use it but at the same time if they actually spend some time on it more people would use it <laughs> because like you know that's what happens when you make good features people use them uh i don't know how big we want this thing to be Oh, the base is on, on a one-by-one one center. That's great. But also, the farm's a two-by-two two design. I guess I can make it a three-by-three. Three. I think that won't be an issue. What's the point of useless hardware in Xbox X? I mean, it's, it's being used, just not to its fullest potential. It's not like there's an extra thing in your in your graphics card or anything. It's just that your graphics card is capable of using ray tracing. And it's just running different things. You're just not using your uh, graphics card to its fullest potential. Basically. Imagine people reading this and start manually blinking and breathing and noticing that they can see their nose. Oh my god. You wouldn't do that to people. You wouldn't make people realize that their nose is always in line of sight and it's actually a very important thing for you know visuals and balance and orientation and all kinds of other scientific things <laughs> hey dragon welcome to the chat right then so oh we oh yeah we're layer low that's right uh, so we don't need that, and we don't need that, and we don't need this. Because this is going to be the floor, that's going to be the left wall, the right wall, and then the back wall, I guess? Sounds good, sounds good. 
We got some gifted subs from Repen the 252. Thank you for gifting a sub to Purely Cam and Dream MC. Much appreciated. Hopefully you're doing great tonight. You can see your nose what? Yeah, it's always there. Always there. It's never not there. If it if it's not there, then I'm afraid you may have seven or more horror cruxes. Uh, do I have a shovel? I need a little bit of shovel time. How many did he end up with? I'm pretty sure he had more than seven horcruxes. Because Harry was one, right? Do I want to fill that in? Nah. I'm going to put a torch up there and we're just going to fill that in like that. There we go. That's how you do it. And then this will be the ceiling there. I'm not sure how tall this is going to be, actually. So we'll just put in the concrete and stuff. Now, and then we'll, we'll come back later and do the rest of that. Uh, look at that. I already got the concrete right here. I'm a professional. I got everything handled. Got all the blocks that I need at all the times. Except that I am putting down some blocks in the wrong order. That's fine. What color is this room? Lime? Great. I happen to have lime glass even. Because I know exactly what I'm doing. Uh, Voldemort made eight, but there was only seven at the time because uh, Nagini was made after the diary was, was destroyed. Was it? When was Nagini made? I don't remember that being established. Just after the diary. Why would you make more horcruxes if one gets destroyed? Your soul's already split. It's going half every time. So the diary was already half of Voldemort. And then like... You're, that, more Making more isn't going to help you. That much lazy pick up. I'm not lazy, I'm efficient. I probably... Same thing. what we call American efficiency. You've heard of German efficiency and German engineering? We got American. It's called just being lazy and doing it the easy way. Because <laughs> ultimate power. I guess. To be fair, it's not like, you know, JK was really like, oh yeah, the diary is definitely a horror crux. Like, you know, eight years before making that a thing probably i do wonder sometimes how far ahead she planned because like it's pretty consistent throughout where's my water bucket i ain't got no water bucket okay crazy <laughs> okay any mini money mo which one of these chests is gonna have a water bucket in it I have a tadpole and a bucket. Oh, I literally have a water bucket right there. Never mind. I'm blind. I, uh, I, I, I know all sorts of things about my inventory, where items are, what items I have on me. I was just, I was just making sure that you guys knew what was up. Yeah. Jam on some toast. Welcome back for 17 months of resubscriberage. How you doing? By book five, she knew it was going to happen to the main characters. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. Once you get to the the end like that, you really need to have your ducks in a row. Harry Potter needed more people to die. So I'm just going to say it. Not enough people died. Ah, oh, let's kill one of the twins. It's not like we have another one or something. <laughs> you know, find leads is in inventory. Why are they on the hotbar still? I don't know. We'll never know. 
Uh, is there questions about the mob vote? I literally have not seen it. Has it been asked 10 times? Am I blind? I'm well, we've already established within the last three minutes that I'm blind. Yeah, the whole series planned out. Spain is known for being lazy. I don't think you're worth for it. Racist. Uh, let's see. Uh, mob vote. We don't know officially what the mob vote is going to be. But we can infer some things. So recently, there's been the Minecraft preview servers. Like, their little test servers. Uh, they ran a test for that last week. And that was a thing. And then they did the Minecraft Now event today. Which I'm not even really sure what a Minecraft Now event is. But it, it exists. I saw it on Twitter a bunch. I'm like, what is this even about? I don't know. Anyway. Uh, so, they had a mob vote inside of the Minecraft preview today and over the last uh, couple hours, so yesterday as well, for which mob, which boss you think is best, Ender Dragon or Wither, whatever. It's a throwaway vote, who cares? But that means that you can actually vote for things in-game tied to your Minecraft slash Microsoft account. So, I'm thinking that Minecraft Live, which is happening on October 15th. Uh, August, September, October. Yeah, so that's like, you know, two-ish two months away. And I'm thinking that the next mob vote or biome vote or whatever we have is going to be held inside of Minecraft. So, you won't be voting on Twitter like previous years. Because if it's held on Twitter, anybody, anywhere can vote. Uh, whereas, ideally, you want only people who are actually playing Minecraft to vote. Now, if they do it inside of Minecraft, I wonder how they're going to tackle multi-voting. Because, like, everybody and their dog has, like, 12 Minecraft accounts at this point. Like, I have four Minecraft accounts. Two on Java, two on Bedrock. I'm also curious how they're going to do it for Java players. Uh, because I don't think it's on Java right now. I guess, like, Java players can just download the preview as well. Or whatever. Just do it on Bedrock. It's, it's bundled together now. And it's all in the same Minecraft launcher. So Java players have equal access too, I suppose. So maybe it'll be only for Bedrock accounts. And all the Java players are on Microsoft accounts now. I had lights in the shulker. You know what I came up here for? <laughs> I did! Oh my god. I, I was just going up there to restock this box. It needed a couple more lights in it. I'm not good at looking at things. I'm also not good looking. Oh! <laughs> Were those frog lights? No, there's sea lanterns. I don't have any frog lights. I haven't gone in the nether or anything. Okay. We got a wee little room. How's it looking, the ray tracing? Whoa! That's way greener than I thought it was. Oh, God. Turn it off. That's that's a lot of green. Oh, okay. Gee, I wonder why. It's not like the only lights in here are green or something. Inconceivable! Uh, right. What else are we doing in here? I don't know how tall this thing is. To be fair, I, I designed it, but I completely forget how to build it. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, YouTube.com slash Silent Whisper. I don't need to type it in because it's bookmarked. Don't play the trailer video. It's bad. Okay. Wait. Silent, silent Whisper Cow Farm. It's the only video there. 419,000 views. Silent no, don't play the video. Why do people like cow farms so much? Half a mil views? That's crazy. I didn't, When did that happen? What is this video from? Was this the uh, advent calendar? It might have been. The voting for Java just being the Java launcher? I guess so, we'll see. Everybody skipped the tutorial. It's not even chapters in this video. How do they know where the tutorial starts? People are stealing my watch time. <laughs> okay, that's pretty easy. Uh, we do need some iron bars. Or I guess we could use glass panes. Ooh. 
I don't have enough. I don't have enough lime. Ooh, look at that. Okay, I only need six of those. And then we need a dispenser. Might need three dispensers, actually. I have one. Oh, look at that. Got a whole bunch. So, then we need a little bit of redstone. Observior and a wooden button. Why do we have two stacks of buttons in there? Buttons are useful and all, but we don't need that many buttons. Spruce button. Best button in the world, obviously. And then we need lava. I wonder where we're going to get lava from. I legit don't have enough lava. Okay. That makes that makes sense. Why would I have enough lava? That doesn't, that doesn't track. Not like I have two giant lava farms. No, definitely not. Hey, Sky. Welcome in. We are building ourselves a cow farm right now. Just getting the materials and stuff ready for it. Don't ban opening things. That would be weird. <laughs> Time for a trip to the lava farm. How did you know? And you can read my mind. Uh, we actually do need more lime glass anyway. We have a lot of lime dye. Way more lime dye than we need. It is kind of convenient just to be able to fly everywhere in the base. Not gonna lie. It's pretty good. Okay. Uh, let's turn off clouds real quick. Because clouds break RTX, apparently. You know. Reasons. Do, 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 do. And also, they're just flying through the base. No! Oh, no opening chests or shulker boxes. Okay. <laughs> but we don't actually need to do that right now. Anyway, so we have a room mined out for the cow farm. It's going to be going on this side, right next to the LA area. And this room is going to be very green. Extremely green. All the green. Now, the cow farm that I designed a while back is made to be two blocks wide. But I think we can build it to be three? I'm not sure. We're going to try designing this on camera because I like pain and suffering. And I feel like you should too. Uh, it's actually going to have to be five wide if you count the actual walls of this thing. Why won't you place in the correct area? Okay, you know what? We're going to break through here. Is that going to place right? Thank you. That's all we need in life. Just a little bit of cooperation, Observer. One redstone dust right there. So then we're going to have... Actually, that needs to be a block forward, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Right there. And then I figure a repeater behind that, maybe? A repeater, and then that, and then we'll have a button right here. So that's going to uh, shoot out the lava for just long enough to uh, melt all of your adult cows. And then we'll have our hoppers right here and a chest in front of it. And then we need a couple buttons below that so it doesn't melt the baby cows. It's just like that. Uh, we need a stair of some sort, which I don't have right now, but that's fine. We'll figure that out later. Box that up on the right side. Stair right there, and then a couple upper slabs. Oh, I do have a stair. Look at this. I'm so prepared for what I'm trying to do. Blam. Give me an upper slab. Thank you. So that way you can uh, sword them if you feel like it. So if we press that. That's going to keep the lava out for just long enough that it doesn't kill the cows. Why is there one extra bit left over? Is that a fluke? Or is that a thing that's going to keep happening? Why does that happen? We're literally retracting the lava sources. Is it flowing to the side? Well, that's going to kill your cows. Okay, we should use a stone button then. You want it to, like, kill the cows automatically for you. Okay, how about that? 
Is that gonna do the thing? Come on, Bedrock Edition. Don't do me dirty. Don't make me press this button twice either to kill the cows. Okay, maybe that fixes it. I don't know, man. Bedrock Edition, what can you do? Pain and suffering. So then above this, we have a little bit of a water drop area. That way we are flushing all the cows into that little zone. So this will be where the cows land, I suppose. I'm trying to figure out how to do that with the redstone. Because, of course, the redstone's being pain. Oh, no, that's fine. Yeah, so this will be the back wall. And then we will have ourselves some glass panes at this layer. And the cows will be standing above this. And then all the babies will fall down there. Uh, we need some stairs on the back side of this, though. That way these glass panes don't connect. Because you need the cows to be able to fall down on all sides. The stairs and these areas just break out the whole area. Oop. Fill that back in. Okay. All right, and then you need stairs on the sides as well. Those are going to be the opposite direction. Uh, I can't place that. There you go. Why are you connecting to that? Does it need to be the other way around? Okay, it connects to the back sides of stairs, not to the front sides. Okay. That's kind of actually more convenient for what we want to do right now. Okay, and there you go. So now all of our adult cows go on top of here and little babies fall down right in here like this. Moo, I'm a cow. <laughs> Hello, Alex. Welcome in. How do I get out of here? That's what the cows are going to be asking themselves. And... Items down there. Yeah, so the cows can fall down on the edges here, too. But they can't land, like, in there. They're too tall for that. I think I need more head height, even. And something like that, maybe? We got some biddies from Takarda. Thank you so much. Welcome to the stream, by the way. Reminds me of when you could open chests in the lower slabs. That's still a great feature. Why don't we have that on Bedrock Edition? It's a travesty that we're missing that. It's an absolute travesty. Um, let's see about that. We need one more dispenser. We put that on the side right here. We need le baton. And that is going to go a block high, actually. So that's like that. And then I guess I'll put some green glass on the front of this, too. Maybe some sea lanterns behind them so we get some light. Okay, I just want to make sure that had a concrete behind it. You can't see in that ugly patch back there. And that's looking good. A little bit right here. Roof is definitely getting moved up a few layers. Hopefully this doesn't interrupt with the storage system that's going to be above us. Because there will be storage above us. Or there already is. I don't know what the water streams for that are going to look like, though. Uh, great, so that'll do it, actually. So that is more or less the whole cow farm done. We just need to place in one water bucket in the bottom layer here. And I'm going to place that, I guess, right in the middle. So any baby cows that fall down on the sides will not get pushed anywhere as of right now. We need it to be like... Oh, right. We can't have it right there. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Technical difficulties. We need a stair right there and then the water and then 
That doesn't really flow out, does it? We need three stairs on the back. Each one of those with a water bucket inside of it. And then that'll flow all the cows in down there. Right. I'm trapped in here yet again. And I don't have enough water for this. Great. Professional. Yeah. Very professional. Is that what I'm doing? We got Diagonal gifting a sub to a tastic cookie. Or a tasty cookie. I completely misread, misread that. <laughs> Welcome in. Thank you for your support. Enjoy your emotes and show some love to Diagonal. I use the tadpole as an info source. That requires too much effort. Yeah, that's what you want. And snare block, and then put in all those dudes. Yeah, I don't know. Twitch is weird about what they censor. They'll let through, like, full anatomically correct things, and then, uh, you know, someone calls, someone says, you cow, in the chat, and that'll get blocked. You know, it makes sense. I'm sure there's equally enforced and equally regulated chat moderation across all of Twitch. Definitely. I have no doubts about it. It's just that they don't turn it on ever. Mm hmm Definitely. That's how it goes. Uh, let's add a little bit of light right here. Because we need more ray tracing light sources. Okay. How are we going to get the cows in here? <laughs> I we need a ladder or something. Where's the ladder gonna go? On the sides right there? That would make sense. How many ladders do I have? Zero. Ah, 38. Look at that. See, it's not, it's not me. It's just that Minecraft is really bad at item organization. Also, that never makes sense either. Ladder placing has always been dumb. Okay. Yep, this'll, this'll work just fine. We can, we can have this right here. Yep. Push that back a layer. Put that right there, I guess. Oh, wait, then we can't even get all the way up. <laughs> okay. Great. Because you gotta get to this layer. Jeez. Push that up another layer, then. Wasting concrete over here. Maybe it was bad organizing. No, it's definitely Minecraft's fault. It's definitely Minecraft's fault. I'm very good at what I do. As you guys are witness to. But Minecraft... Oh man, does Minecraft have some issues. I can make like a whole 164 part series about how Minecraft has issues. By the way, that's how many Bug Rock episodes we have now. 164. Does that need to be there? Oh, look at that. We can tear out all this. 164 episodes. Crazy. Something about that's not right. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we should make that green line up there more of a line. 
world class derp. Hey now. Thanks for the compliment. World class. That means a lot. At least I got class. I always wanted to have class. Uh, I guess we'll put just concrete right there. Whatever. Because if we push that out any further, it's going to break out to the outer wall. Should those sea lanterns go behind lime? I feel like they should. So it did place the block above me. Okay, because I was pretty sure I placed the block there to jump across again. But it, it didn't register until too late. That's great. See, I'm great at parkour. So Minecraft is laggy. <laughs> Obviously. We got a wardrobe change. Thank you to Kaz for that. Uh, yeah, that'll be fine right there. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Great, let's go ahead and switch over to skins. Uh, what should we do? We got so many choices. I never scrolled down to the bottom. Maybe because that's where they show you more advertisements for things you should buy. Uh, but if we scroll down to like here, we have Dan Rob's Probs, always a good choice, never a bad thing. We got Mr. Onion or Big Chicken or Mr. Barbecue or Bruno or Zloy or Tistom or Slack Lizard. <laughs> I can't do any voices. <laughs> or Mr. Beatstone. We could be Daphne. <laughs> Let's be Groova. Groova knows what he's doing. <laughs> Classy suit. Classy suit would be good too. I forgot we had a suit one. Yeah, that's my classy suit. Or or this classy suit. Yeah, look at that. Got a nice tie even. <laughs> uh let's see about this. Got a wardrobe change, thank you for that. Fan in action, we did that. Uh, we got a mod poll. If there's any mods in the chat, you can run a poll of your choice. Classic derp soup. Yep. Uh, let's see. We got a suggested quote from Lantern as well. Or Lantern, not Lanther. Uh, add quote. This one is quote number 300 and something something. Hey, Casper. Cool. Oh. Bedrock edition. Pain and suffering. I miss, how did I misspell that? I specifically went back to make sure. Cool out, cool out. Yeah, I know how to spell quote. There we go. Did it right. Uh, Meeps, thank you for the follow. We got Joseph and Antrox along with Yeah Yeah Dude, Pug Feet, Clay the Dragon, Mr. Squid, MCB Gamly. And we got Cool Beans along with that Enderman Sky. Win Mo and a couple others. Thank you for the follows, everybody. Poland's cool. These ladders should go up higher. All the way, not all the way up, but a distance. Oh, you know what? We need to wire in an input chest for over here. That way all the bulk items get auto-sorted. That sounds really useful. Actually, we should definitely do that. And all of that's good to go. Why we got two water buckets now? Oh, right, because I need to put one in that dispenser. Yeah, so that'll push the cows up and down and up and down. Then you feed them all. And then when you undo the water... Then the babies get shuffled around and they fall down. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we need to get ourselves a way up here. And... 
And I think we're going to do that using a slime block platform. Well, maybe not. <laughs> Would honey work? I'm not gonna put a tadpole in the dispenser. That's rude. Bowling booth. Fireman's pole? <laughs> yeah, put the cows down a fireman pole. <laughs> As a bottom on a roller coaster. Actually, a roller coaster is a good idea. Okay, we're just gonna have to hit a fairly uh, sizable target. And, uh, yeah. That should be fine, I think. Hey, Bigglesworth! Why are you there? Great. We need some boats. Moo coaster. You also get free cheese? Ooh, free cheese. That's not because they're scared or anything, right? Oh no, Cass. Because you night. I want milk. No, no, I'm I'm okay. Thank you. You're back. You can't go to sleep. Go to sleep. Being part of the stream doesn't make you go to sleep faster. Jeez, come on now. You got to you got to go to bed. Granted, uh like every time I try to go to bed, I just sit there for like 3 hours trying to get comfy. So like I can go to bed at like go to bed in quotes at like 11 or something and then like not fall asleep till like 3. <laughs> it's very useful. Love it. Good. Would not change anything. Great use of time. Much productivity. Many rest. Okay. Now for the funnest part, we get to actually bring our cows across the base again to the other side. And hopefully they don't go to the other side. If you know what I mean. We don't, we don't want them to die. Dying is bad. Maybe maybe one or two. We can afford to lose two, but if we lose more than two, it's just going to be pain. I can't do that. Oh, come on now. I guess I have one job in life. That is to get up this hill. Don't go back down the hill. Come on now. Bro, I swear. Come on. You're the only cow giving me issues right now. Oh no, one fell down on the other side. No! Okay, oh, oh, okay, well, I can't blame him. <laughs> it was pretty easy to fall down. <laughs> it was fairly easy to fall down that. Okay. I'm gonna kill all these cows with fall damage by the end of this, I swear. Did I build this in a way where they can't get up there? Getting over it, cow edition. <laughs> I forgot about that game. I'm still not over it, though. Come on. One more cow. Come on. You got it. You got it, mister. I just... No! Why are you falling down? Oh, my God. Okay. You know what? We're gonna... Keep... We're gonna cut our losses. You. I can't unlead you by clicking... 
Mojang, please. Why can't I click on this mob to unlead it? He's leaded to a fence post. But I don't want to unlead everything on the fence post to unlead this one. Can I get you into a boat still? Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to cooperate. You can't get into a boat. Okay, okay. You sure, you sure about this how you want to play it, Cal? You really want to do me like this? I don't think you want to find out what happens when you go down there without a boat. It's not good for your health, if you know what I mean. There might be accidents. Where? What are you getting off to? Come on now. Okay, let's unlead all of... Unlead all of you. There we go. Now you're all up there. Great. Where did he go? Why are you over here? Okay. Not gonna question it. You're you're the first, you know, tribute. You're going down. Down. Oh my god. Get into the boat. It's right here, dude. Bro, come on. Please. I I have a job. My job is to get you into this boat. It's fair. If you're if you're not gonna be helpful to me, I'm gonna shove you into Oh my god. Okay, come on. Get and thank you! That wasn't so difficult. <sighs> deep breaths, deep breaths. It's just it's just a Minecraft cow. Minecraft cow can't hurt you. Minecraft cow can't hurt you. Okay. Oh god, oh god, oh god, okay. I I can hurt Minecraft cow. <laughs> How did we go that far over? We went like a good solid way more blocks over that than I thought we would. And I'm very surprised that we landed on this. I thought we were going to go like a lot further down than that. <laughs> okay. This is why this is why we can't have nice things. We need a uh, backboard. That's what we need. Cheese. <laughs> That's what we call ground beef. <laughs> That's what the cow gets for disobeying me. <laughs> yeah, I showed that cow's who boss. Yeah. Definitely. We should still have another cow. How did you get all the way over there and why? I have so many questions. Okay. Now you're just trolling me. I know you can make that across. Uh, there you Okay. Come on, cow. Don't you dare fall down this. Don't you do it. Look at that. Okay. Cow number one, take two. Uh, let's just run straight into that wall and then we bounce down. And look at that. Professional Minecrafter. And the flesh. Let's uh, wait for that dude to finish his bouncy bounciness. And, of course, because this is Bedrock Edition, if I get back in that boat and then get back in it... Or, wait. No, I need to jump on it. Hold on. Don't worry. This... I... There is means to the madness. Jump on it, then get in it. There we go. That's how we... That's how we do it. Right. So, I need to, like, break that boat. I don't, it takes 20 years. <laughs> there we go. First cow in the cow machine. 3,000 times more effort than it should take, but what do you expect? I 
Thank you. Splat! Yep. Please wait three to five business days for uh, this guy to stop falling. What do you call a bear of no teeth? A gummy bear? Oof. That's, uh... That's, uh... Hmm. Delicious. <laughs> Counting with pig out? Oof. <laughs> Don't be busting out your dad jokes on me now. You know I'll just get distracted with dad jokes. Why do you want to go over there? There's literally nothing over here for you to enjoy. There is no pasture. The other side is not greener. It is literally and physically not greener. What are you doing with your life, Cal? I need, I need you to just cooperate with me. Cooperate and listen, and you will have a great life. You will love it. Thank you. <sighs> Sometimes... I just gotta tell Cal's who's boss. Oops. It's greener. It's slime. No, it's, it's literally not, though. Uh. Are you bullheaded, Cal? For sure. I never understood why you can't instant mine things while you're, like, flying or falling or jumping. Like, why is there a mining pen penalty to that? From a gameplay perspective, it just doesn't really make sense. I guess from, like, a logic perspective, maybe, but... Not very fun. Why are the two cows not like each other? They had beef. For sure. I could see that. St <laughs> Stop. Cooperate and listen. Silas back with a brand new edition. <laughs> I like it. I think it would be kind of cool to do a music video, but I have absolutely no musical talent. Or diss track. I don't have anybody to diss track that deserves it. There's some people that deserve it, but you don't want to give them attention. Trolls don't need attention. The calculator. How do you count cows with calculator? Are you just looking these up? <laughs> hey, what's the cow's favorite drink? No, it's not milk. It's moonshine. <laughs> this Jesse B. <laughs> Put 12 cows in the top so you can... Read six cows at once? Yeah, I need to. Wait, you guys don't like my dad joke? Come on. The milk died. I was gonna say lactose intolerant. A cow that can't make milk? I'm right at this track on beat roots. Yeah, you see, I I have no rhyme or rhythm or rap, so I, I can't. <laughs> Cal 4? Oh no, Cal 4 died. Yeah, no, he's dead. Yeah, he's already, he's already in the storage system. <laughs> oh no, he's right there. Here's Cal 4. We can put him back together. <laughs> uh, Cole Geo, Glowberry, uh, GEV's Enderboy, along with Keps and Pexamania, Blake, Tattoo Tommy, RBN1, and a couple others. Thank you for the follows. Welcome in. Cal 5? There was no Cal 5. Right, you know the thing I'm missing about this now? I, uh, I don't have any, like, wheat. Wheat. Okay. 
calculator for this kettle. Yeah. Definitely gonna have a calculator. Uh, I'm not sure if I cleaned up the top of the base. Okay, I do. I thought I did, because, like, we did the, the foxy prank. So I should have had a bunch of wheat left over from that. Okay, is that it all cleaned up? I think so. Yeah, all that stuff over there is fine for now. What do you call it, two legs? <laughs> Yo, mama. <laughs> Find a dad joke sounds so cheesy because you eat it. Mmm, delicious. Oh, no, that's a bad one. <laughs> Cal 4 thought Silent was a genie and wished to be a book. Oof. Okay, so, now that that's all ready to go, I think we just need to uh, spam some wheat on these guys. So we have a successful cow farmage with three adult-ish cows up there. They they act pretty immature. They're not very cooperative, so I don't, I don't know. Jury's still out. But if we press that button and then breed that guy up, we should get a baby. And then I don't think it'll be able to fall down as long as the water is out. So we're just going to grow this guy up into our fourth cow. There we go. And now we're going to get a fifth cow. And then we just need to get a sixth one. And then that'll give us a few different cows every time we... Uh... Oh, there he goes. Okay. <laughs> well, so much for that one. Bye, buddy. Uh, you know what? Let's actually grow this guy up regardless. That was very loud. Let's grow this guy up regardless, and then we should be able to, uh, see if this cooker works. Yeah, is that gonna, is that gonna do the thing? Come on, die. There it goes. Straight into the chest. Look at that. Delicious. Delicious, delicious books. We don't, we don't, that's a byproduct. We don't, we don't eat that. That's bad for the environment. But this, this right here, bookshelves, item frames, uh... That, that's it. That's it. Just bookshelves and item frames. Yeah. Actually, we buy bookshelves from the villagers. So just item frames. That's all we need, boys. Yeah, by the way, beef really is, like, basically, essentially the worst thing to uh, ever eat for the environment. The amount of water and power and electricity and, like, thought that goes into uh that is insane it's an insane amount of water and food very very inefficient don't forget that the th tunics mmm tunics paintings now you need wool for paintings right you can buy on frames from villager well why did we just build this then you could have told me that an hour and 12 minutes ago Try saying that in a steakhouse. And it's just a fact. It really doesn't matter where you say it. It's it's true regardless. Oh, <laughs> uh, now I'm one of the cows. Oh, uh, there he goes. Okay. Don't fall down. Don't fall. I uh, fell down. How do I get out? I have become one with the cows. Yeah. Now, they're judging me. How dare you judge me? You're the ones actually in the farm. Right, I can't break those blocks. Huh. They're literally judging me. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. 
There we go. Look at that. I'm smarter than all of you. Ha! Huh? Take that, cows. Uh, let's see. We need a crafting table. Look at that. Just gonna put that right there. I will never fall in again. Hey, Umari, Amory. I'm not sure exactly which one it is, but welcome to Twitch. How are you? Come on. Come on. There we go. Brilliant. Brilliant. I'm sleepy. Understandable. Understandable indeed. I'm farming cows, so, you know, about the same. <laughs> Welcome back, Lord. Uh, Moody Mickey and Note and Umari, Amory, I'm not sure. Welcome, thank you for the follows. <laughs> hey, Madman. We're streaming about a year? Very nice, welcome back. Okay, is the cooldown done? I think that's the one that we just grew up. Get me more cows! The cooldown is really short. Let's get eight if we can. I would like to get eight. I really can't reach you. Don't fall down, don't fall down, don't fall down, don't fall down. Thank you. Do you have a chicken farm? No, we're not really doing this for food. We're doing it for leather and stuff. Leather is super useful. Yeah, okay. Uh, We will breed up one more of these guys. Actually, is that eight? That's two, four, six, seven. There's a baby right there. Seven. Oh, yeah, there's another baby in there, too. Uh, That was all my wheat. <laughs> Might need to go build a wheat farm. <laughs> uh, yeah, we can break this down. Break it down. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, see, the baby cows really only fall down if you have the water turned on. Okay, one more. Oh, I see you right there. I see your little horn thing. Why do the babies have horns? That's that's not a thing that babies have, right? Maybe teeny tiny ones, but like, not like that. We went to an ancient city and found four god apples and five other side this. That's a lot. Jeez. Yeah, ancient cities are pretty OP. Can I get one more baby? It's easier to reach than that's all I need. Literally impossible. I'm about to hop down in there again. Here, baby cow. Where you at? <laughs> uh, this is more difficult than I thought it would be. Wait, now, okay, well, that one fell down. Hold on, there's another one somewhere in here? Here, baby cow, there you are. There we go. Brilliant. And now we have like eight cows or something. Fantastic. So you can come in here and breed all these guys front and back row. That'll give you three to four different cows. And then you get the experience. You flush them. All the babies go and fall down to the bottom. Uh, sometimes you need to turn the water off for the babies to actually fall down. Like through the water itself. But yeah, you can see we got a whole bunch of little babies down there. We got, what, six of them? And then we'll wait for these guys to grow up in a couple minutes and kill them all. 
Uh, while we're doing that, we should totally go steal someone's wheat. Whose wheat do we want to steal? Give me a target, boys. Minecraft's gonna make an ultra hardcore dimension. Eh. Maybe. Ah, uh, babies, you're so cute. Now die. Basically, yes. That's that's how we do things. Hi, Beardstones. Good to see you. Oh my god, he's growing potatoes. Is Foxy our target? Everybody says Foxy. Okay, we're gonna go steal from Foxy. Oh, that spiral looks kind of decent. Kind of looks like a series of V's. A little bit. Bring slack. That's a no-go. Bone meal. Come out of bone meal. So that right there is our target. This looks really nice down here. Let's try to not ruin it. Is that supposed to be hydrated? Uh, so we don't need like a ton. I probably need like three or four stacks. Many, many wheats. All the wheats. It's also very loud, isn't it? Very, very loud. There we go. Uh, so that is... That's not even four stacks? I really thought that was. Foxy's away on holiday. Is he? That's nice. He deserves it. <laughs> I'm gonna go ravage his farms. <laughs> wow, you really don't get that much wheat, do you? You get a hell of a lot of seeds, but no wheat. I was going to bone meal all this, but I'll probably just come back in AFK later. Looks like he's got a little house right there I can stand in. That way it gets nice and regrown. And then he'll never know. <laughs> Quite the wheat field. I think all the bone meal I have is from composting beetroots and seeds from the, the food wars. Okay, is that going to be enough? That should be four or five and some stacks? Perfect. Yeah, that seems, that seems right. Okay, is there a spot in here to AFK later? Feed the potatoes to cows. You can't do that, can you? Oh, this is nice. I like this. A little bit of bread. A little bakery. Got a door right there. No door on this side. Yeah, I'll just I'll just block myself up in here later after the stream and uh, regrow all that. I never know until he watches the bot. That doesn't happen. Nobody watches my streams. Shh. You kidding me? Inconceivable. Uh, great. That should be good. Could use silent too. Yeah, I could. I got another stack of seats. 
Yeah, we're all officially nobodies. <laughs> I made it like that. Your butt. I have way less potatoes than I thought I did. Uh, Nelly, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. You thought it was Silent Woo? No, Woo is bad. You don't want Woo. Silent 2. Silent 12. It's more like Silent 12. I think, I think that's the official pronunciation. Silent 12. That's how the posh people say it. Silent 12. Or Silent Toe. Ew. You don't want a Silent Toe. There we go. That kind of finishes that part off a little bit more. <laughs> well, <laughs> backed up a little bit too far. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Cow farm's looking pretty decent now. Not too shabby. I could probably put a little bit of uh, lime glass right here in the middle. And that would make it look a little bit more decent. Or maybe I'll just make this whole side all lime. Except that that just flooded all my cows. Oh, no. They're going to drown. Oh, no, 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 no. No, don't drown, cows. Hold on. Ah, oh, no, wait, now. Oh, I'm, I'm too far up now. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my cows are going to drown. Oh, no. This is terrible. I can't get out of here. <laughs> I literally can't get out. Hold on. Why are they not drowning? They're just incredibly resistant to drown. Apparently. They, sh they definitely should have been drowning from that. I couldn't fly. There was no way for me to fly. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Jeez. Where's my buttons at? I just needed three buttons that whole time. How did I even get in here? Put that back. Cow farming is dangerous business, people. Okay. That makes sense. No! It's gonna flood the entire bottom of the base. Of course, that's the last thing I need right now. That's the great thing about this base. Any water accidents anywhere just instantly goes down to the very bottom. And of course, this is all carpets down here. But at least you got like 30 years before it actually gets down here. Okay. Do your thing, Minecraft water. Suspenseful music plays. Now who's judgy? It's for the memes. Fly in the water. I was trying to do that. It's kind of hard to do. Finally! An entire day went by before this stuff fell down. That is so much water. I'm going to be here for like five minutes. Is bug water still there? Yeah, it's all the way up there. You can see it. Boop. That looks nice. This isn't so bad. Yeah, life could be worse. Prompt are the best. Glad you enjoy them, Sunflower Man. Okay. It's still going. How tall is it? It's flowed like halfway, I think. Yeah. Wow. That is just slow. This is not lava. We'd literally be here for like 5,000 years. How many laps can I do before this comes down? See, there's one lap. You gotta get your legs in. If you don't do leg day, you're gonna have flappy legs. It, you're gonna be lopsided. You're gonna be top heavy. You won't be able to do squats. I mean, you gotta put in your leg day effort. 
Look at me. I'm doing three laps. This is how this is how you do it. I'm setting a good example for the youth. Four laps. Will lava or water take longer? Definitely lava. It's slow. It flows way slow in the overworld. It actually flows faster in the nether too, which is interesting. Am I playing on PC? Yep. Indeed I am. Six. Pickled ice cream? That sounds bad. I veto that. Seven laps? Can I get in an eighth lap? Hold on. We're going to do smaller laps. Nine laps? <laughs> Look at that, 13 laps before the water came all the way down. I, I, I definitely counted that correctly. There we go. Oh, that was annoying. Yeah, so lava flows three blocks in the overworld and six blocks in the nether. So it's, it's quite the difference. Which is always good to know. How long does it take cows to grow up? I thought it was five minutes, but I think it's been more than five minutes now. I could probably go outside to touch grass before it's done. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, but why would I do that? Grass is nasty. You know, I once fought a grass, and it, it and it won. So, not very high self-esteem when it comes to grass. Granted, the grass was seven feet tall, so, you know, I kind of, kind of got what I was asking for. Plantera. <laughs> nah, Plantera's not too bad. Uh, in Hawaii, there's legitimately seven foot tall grass. It's like everywhere. Uh, Guinea grass or New Guinea grass. Yeah. It's bad. It's giant. It's huge. It's, it's super like prickly as well. It's got these little tiny like basically little glass uh, little prickly bits. I don't know how to describe it. If you, if you Google it, you'll see. It's huge. You need a serious, a serious, serious, uh, like, farming tractor to actually mow it down. Done it with pickles on it. That's just, just now. Okay, just now. So wait, lettuce. Occasionally. Let us eat. Yeah, so over here is where the actual sheep farm or wool farm is going to be going. We never did get our sheeps. We probably want at least a couple of cells for a sheep farm. Did I say Hawaii? Yes. Although, you can probably find that kind of grass in any tropical region. Like, the, the base of the single grass stem is, like, half an inch thick. Uh, let me see. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Large. I don't know how to spell it. Seven feet tall. I can't find a good picture of it. But it's uh it's the bane of existence if you live in Hawaii. Oh, it's got giant stumps as well. Like they're they're giant clumps of stump down at the bottom of it too. You gotta like literally get a pickaxe and dig it out. It's it's the it's the worst. Yeah, plant's bad. <laughs> Would not recommend plant. <laughs> 
Okay, so how tall are these cells going to be? We're going to have the central walkway. And then we want that to be at least three wide. Uh, we're going to have a wall right here, a sheep, and then the dispenser and wall. And then, like, storage chest. Storage chest. We should push that out a layer. So this would be the back wall. This would be the sheep. And then this would be the front wall. That way we have a chest there. Yeah, I feel like that's probably good. I don't have enough concrete powder. Also, how many sheeps do we want? What's the difference between bagels and donuts? So donuts are like usually really sweet and they got like glazing and toppings and stuff. And also it's probably just like a different type of bread. Uh, bagels are typically savory with different, you know, uh, cream cheese or like meats or vegetables or stuff like that. Also, bagels are boiled, which is interesting. So you make like a donut shape and then you boil it. Which is kind of cool. And then I think donuts are just straight up baked. Or fried, I suppose. Boiled and baked. Yeah. One sheep per color. That's too much. Too many sheeps. Uh, let's put sheep, 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 sheep. Eight sheep? That seems about right. Down to brighter oil? Yeah. Wait, so that's sheep. Hopper, chest. And then it's going to be, that's fine. Okay. Just trying to work out how to do the floor plan in here. I'm a bit slow, so it takes me, it takes me a while. Oh, piece of candy. Eight times two for all colors. No, bad. <laughs> We're going to make a die farm. So we'll just uh, have all that. I don't really build wool or anything. Just kind of to fill out the base, basically. Uh, let's see. We will put all these right here. And then we don't need any of this, do we? Hey, Nightside. Thank you for Prime subscribing for 19 months. Welcome back. This is a long time indeed. Uh, hold on. Sheep, 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 sheep. Okay. No, something's wrong here. This is wrong. Dang it. Place the block in the hole. Thank you. Make two floors. We could. Okay, that's where the sheeps go. Uh, they're actually going to be sitting on hoppers, though. So, those blocks don't need to be there. And then we may as well just get in the chest right now. Yeah, I, I was just literally thinking about the grass block. Right when you said that, Kaz. Uh, not sure where that's going to go, but we'll figure that out. Whatever. I think we might need to hopper minecart. Oh, maybe we'll just have our sheep up a block. How about that? 
So we could have grass be right there. And then they can look down at you and judge. Wardrobe change. Oh, thank you for letting me know. Uh, we got a wardrobe change from Lord. Thank you so much. I'm switching away from my classy pig out to my weekend pig out. This is my weekend job. <laughs> Being a biker. Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, so we'll just put a hopper minecart on top of this, and then it'll grab it and put it straight down. He even said grass blocks. Well, I didn't read your message. Technically, you need two grass blocks. Yeah, you need a, a variety of grass. Right, so that's going to get a little bit fun. Yeah, it shouldn't be hard. I got a tutorial for this, by the way, as well. Uh, here is the link for the cow farm tutorial if we want to build it. Very popular design. And then Soylent Whisperer Wolf Farm. Uh, we're going to be making a version of like this right here. I'm surprised this doesn't have more views. Well, that's probably why, because it's old voice. There you go. I should make a new tutorial of that. It's three years ago and only has 91,000 views. Oh my god. Only 91,000? Granted, like, both of these wolf farms work perfectly fine. That's kind of, uh, again, I've talked about this a few times, but, like, I've made so many tutorials back in the day, and all of those still work, for the most part, perfectly fine, so there's no reason for me to make another version of that farm. So, I'm stuck in a predicament where, like, do I just make a different version, even though the existing one is perfectly fine just to have an updated video or do i just like hope that people find the old video because they get a bunch of comments all the time being like hey you should make this farm i'm like i already got that it's in the tutorials playlist it happens like at least a couple times a day is there a middle point <gasps> There's a middle point. Yes. Look at that. Symmetry. I don't know why those blocks got mined out. Is that some new blocks? I'll <laughs> put out a new video. <laughs> yeah, just different build palette. <laughs> yeah, that nobody will ever notice if I use a different build palette. <laughs> Oh, jeez. And, like, production quality of those videos is still acceptable as well. Like, I, have, I don't think there's any issues with the, with the old tutorials. The only difference is, like, my voice is just old voice with the old mic and stuff. Different room. So, different, like, sound wave bouncing and junk. Yeah, most people won't build a farm from a tutorial. It's more than a couple updates old because they want something new. Yeah, that's also an issue. Like, And that's perfectly reasonable, too. You don't want to trust a video that is old because you just don't know. And I get that a lot as well. Like, even even videos that are, like, two weeks old, people are like, does this work in 1.19? I'm like, okay, this released in 1.19. So, yes. Or even if it's, like, from 1.18, they'll be like, hey, does this work in 1.19? Like, basically, yes. Nothing has really changed in the game since, like, 116. Why did I make a bucket? I'm trying to make minecarts. Minecarts. That's what I need in my life. Beautiful. This is what we need. I could always make a mini-series of tutorials of farms and tutor- Wait, farms and tutorials are still working on 119? What I need to do is I need to put- together a playlist of things that still work and just have the working playlist uh but it's kind of a big ask to tell people to go through that playlist uh but yeah at this point we do have a number of tutorials that are outdated and broken so it's good to consolidate those down 
into a fully working playlist. Uh, let's see. We need ourselves that right there. And then, I don't know how tall this room is going to be. I do know we're going to have a green thing right there. Because I built it and now I'm not moving it. I need to go get some grass. Look at that, we actually have some. I don't know how much we'll need. Remove videos for farms that don't work. Well, a lot of people play in old updates as well. And I can't really... I don't want to go just, like, delete a bunch of videos. Ah, uh, we got the nasty grass color. Yeah, a lot of people do abandon old tutorials or old videos, which is fair um, because it is a lot of work to like keep track of it, especially with Bedrock Edition because stuff just breaks all the time. Um, but yeah, I try to be very diligent about like what actually still works. That's why most every video has a pinned comment like telling you like little tweaks or changes that need to be done because I don't want people building my stuff and then be like, ah, oh, this sucks. It doesn't work. What a scam. Uh, which, you know, happens sometimes. All right. Yeah. We need a way to get in new shears. And also, it's just super frustrating when you build a tutorial, especially if it's something big, like a guardian farm, and then you find out, oh, it's outdated, or there's an issue with it, or uh, it's not optimized, or whatever. Super annoying. So I don't want people to have to go through that. Uh, guardian farms is a bad example, because those don't really change at all. Like, I, I literally don't think they've changed at all over the last years since I started making them. It's just discovering new mechanics and trying new things. Trident killers have changed a little bit, but that's not a biggie. Hey, J. Dot, thank you for six months. Oh, wait, no. Where did I see six? At tier one. For six months in advance. That's pretty awesome of you. Thank you so much. I thought I saw a six in there somewhere. Then I read the notification, like, in my notifs bar, and it said nothing about that. But thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Does anyone claim an Omega Flex? Uh, not this stream. I have one that I need to do, but I haven't heard from Trunip about what they want me to write. And yes, we have many Omega Flexes on the season uh, so far, but we haven't had one in a little while. Uh, we're going to cut our efficiency for grass growing a little bit. And make it so we can see the sheeps. Because I want to see the sheeps. Sheeps are cute. You ever seen a sheep before? They're so cute. They're adorable. So we're going to have more glass on the front instead of more grass. Oh, and I'm glad that this is the lime side, too, because that actually works out well with the uh, the grass color. It'd be kind of weird if it was magenta. How will grass regrow? From this stuff. So, grass can grow downwards by, like, four blocks. And a block to any direction, diagonals or cardinal direction. I, I mentioned this in my tutorial, by the way. Uh, link in the chat. Yeah. So that is where you get all that stuff from. 
It's actually way more efficient this way, too. Because you have a lot more grass that can grow down. So the grass regrows incredibly quickly. Especially, like, if you do this. Typically, you would have it like this. So be completely boxed in. And then you would actually have grass below it at this layer, too. So that it can grow upwards a layer. Like, the design that I have from... When is this video from? It doesn't show you the dates on things. I have to, like, expand this window all the way out. It's from March 2019, but it's still a great design. Like, it's really optimized. It has four layers of grass to regrow the two wool blocks, or the two grass blocks underneath your sheep. And then I have a tiny one, too. Like a tiny design. So, we're going to put some grass right there, not underneath the observers. And then we can optimize this a little bit, too. Yeah, that way all those will grow up and diagonal. Yeah, okay. Dang it. <laughs> Try to be faster than it. I was not. Oh, yeah, that's right. They don't break off into minecart and hopper anymore. It's just hopper minecart still. It's kind of nice. I failed on that one, too. What farm do I not have? I have... I am running out of farms to make. <laughs> I, I have a lot of things. 2019? Yes. It, it works great on Java, too, by the way. Uh, D is... Uh, made, made it on Piglandia a whole bunch of times. And it worked great every time. It's just a lot of wool. Very quickly. I mean, I'm not running out of farms to make, but I'm running out of original farms to make. Because... I likely already have a tutorial for it. Even the silly things, like a fungus root farm or something. Some of the stoppers are locked. Ah, right. Yeah, good eye. I knew that. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Two right there. That's why that texture pack is so useful. Okay. Yeah, so it's kind of a mess of grass, but it's going to allow it to regrow really quickly. I should get a clip of this so that I can eventually make a truly bedrock episode. What about goat? Goat's bad! A death farm. Uh, Hoodloom, thank you for the follow. We also got Mike and Adventures of Kid. Uh, Ban, Marcel, and Mega Wumi, along with Ben Nugget. And Skiz, uh, you rare, you, wait, your average monkey. And RXP and Sunflower Man, thank you for the follows, everybody. Welcome in. Hopefully you're doing great tonight. You think something changed with growing the nether mushrooms in the trees? Maybe. Okay. So we are midway through building a wool farm. And this is uh, similar to a wool farm that I made back in 2019. Which still works just fine to this day. Link is everywhere. Uh, so all of this grass is down below and at this layer and at the top layer. Will actually spread to the one grass that is directly underneath your sheep so your sheep's gonna be growing right there don't ask me how i'm gonna get the sheeps down here that's uh that's a whole nother deal whole nother deal so i just need to fill in all of this area and make it look kind of pretty put a roof on it 
And then I think we're going to have a nice big glass front on it so that we can see all the shapes because sheep are cute. You're really hyped for the mud bricks, but now you haven't used used them at all. You gotta have a mud farm, which is something I got a tutorial for too. <laughs> I don't have like a dedicated tutorial for it, but I do have a design for it and a video on how to farm everything in 119. That was a total misplace. Am I running out of lime glass? I totally am. Okay, we need to go up and uh, dump inventory and stuff. Are mud blocks now still full block tall? I think so. I don't think they've changed that yet. It's probably going to be like that for a little while. Because there was like a big pathfinding bug. So that's why they're full block. Not that it really matters. Like, who cares? It's a pretty minuscule feature. It's also intended as well. They meant for it to be like that because of the bug. Instead of mobs not being able to pathfind on it, they just made it so that it's full block tall. We can farm. Got I got like three or three of those. <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of tutorials. Which is nice. I like making tutorials. Tutorials are great. They're honestly super fun. I am getting close to making the uh, uh, mangrove tree farm. I need to figure out a good triple piston extender. I don't think a quad or quintuple extender is going to work for what I need. So we're going to uh, just go for triple, I feel. And that will probably be the best. That needs to be a grass block. There we go. Oh, why did I decorate that back there if I'm just going to hide it? Huh. Well, I didn't think about that, did I? Oh, well. That's why you decorate the front before you decorate the back. <laughs> uh, let's see. A warden farm. I had a warden farm. I think they broke it because only player activations activate the Skulk Shrieker now. Uh, but that was just a short. So it's not like that took a long time or anything. Uh... That could be a fun one to design on Technical Tuesday. I want to do a Technical Tuesday like every Tuesday. So keep on letting me know what you want to see. And we can design it on a stream. Or at least try to, to design it on a stream. <laughs> Sometimes we have better luck than other times. <laughs> Not, it doesn't always go well for us on Tech Tuesdays. But that is uh, part of the journey, you know? You get to see what works out, what doesn't work out. Like, I still haven't done that stupid potion brewer. I want to. I haven't revisited it since that stream, though. The stream was bad. It was really bad. <laughs> we want that to be going all the way up like that? I kind of don't want that. Wardrobe change! Thank you. Sometimes I don't see them pop up. Uh, Minecraft delay. Thank you for that. Let's see. I want to do... Do I have any sheep ones? We're going to go for die right skin. Yeah, die right skin. <laughs> Can't go wrong with die right skin. Uh, 
Uh, that right there needs to be Hopper. I already have them on my inventory. Mm, let's see. And then... When it comes to the ceiling, we'll put... A couple of torches up here just so nothing spawns. But otherwise, we're going to have just a block right there to block the view. And then, uh, let's see, probably, yeah, ceiling layer right here. There you go. And it's a full wall of glass blocks. Very fine. Uh, Ragnog, thank you for subscribing with your Prime for six months. Much appreciated. Every farm you have in your world is, is mine. Uh, not related topic. If I ever come to Mexico City, make sure to visit uh, La Poca Pacadera. I completely butchered that. Mind my Spanish? <laughs> I won't regret it. They even have to ask me. Ooh. Don't post a photo. <laughs> I haven't been to... Mexico City. I haven't been to Mexico at all. But it does sound fun. I want to travel more. Traveling is great. Yeah, if I'm ever there, I, I'll, I'll try and remember. Let's do a generic mob farm or witch farm for gunpowder. Yeah, pretty much. You don't need a creeper farm or a gas farm. You can, you can get away with, like, super basic stuff when it comes to gunpowder. It really doesn't take that much. Because, like, a single player, you know, just just you, uh, you're, you're probably not going to be using that much rockets. One overnight AFK at a decent okay mob farm will give you plenty of gunpowder for weeks. Unless you're just absolutely blasting rockets and having way too much fun. But if you're having way too much fun, well, that's, that's your own fault. I can't help you there. <laughs> Only moderate amounts of funds allowed. If you're having excessive fun, the warranty is void. Uh, let's see. Let's pop that out. So it's a little bit more open. And then this was to prevent water, I guess. I don't know why that's there. Yeah, I guess we will have to just box it in like that. It's kind of weird, doesn't it? And then we'll fill in all that stuff. See, once I have a style that I can decorate in, I can throw the stuff together reasonably quick. But if I don't have a style, then I'm just like, eh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Yeah, like, that's not absolutely terrible. I think we should get some lime concrete, which I have a little bit of. And we can throw that around the doorway. And that'll make it pop a little bit more. Do I not have lime? I, I okay, I do. Yeah, so we can put this, like, just as the archway. Bam, there we go. Not too shabby. Throw all that stuff in a box. Some more of those dudes. Remember when Frog could eat anything? Oh, that was so good. That was that was great. Someone made an add-on where it could eat anything. Like, literally anything, and it was it was the best. I made a video on that on Silent 2, I want to say. I think I put a short of that on the main channel. 
Oh, did I ever upload the full version of that? I'm not sure if I did, because the short didn't do very well. Yeah, I think I have that full video just sitting on my hard drive. It's only like five minutes. It's really hard to see this. Okay, we now... Wait, that didn't hit record? We now have a full-on sheep farm in the base. And if we turn on the red tracing, it's going to be very green. I like it. I like that a lot. Stare into the greenness. Have some lime. It's, it's like a Sprite commercial up in here. <laughs> not sponsored. They're not paying me. Sadly. Uh, so, yeah. We need to get in our sheeps in those little cells right there. I think we're probably just going to do all white wool. And then once we build a dye farm in the base, we can just dye it to whatever color we want. Uh, maybe I'll do a couple lime and a couple magenta because, like, uh, obviously. But otherwise, probably just white wool. Your favorite add-on is edible oxalotls. <laughs> and you're banned. <laughs> For making too much sense in the chat. We can't, you can't just go around and say things like that. People find it insensitive, even though it's obviously the best idea. <laughs> anyway that's pretty much gonna do it for today's live stream thank you all so very much for watching uh a massive thank you to brab for subscribing for 17 months huge thank you for that uh if you haven't already consider dropping a follow on the stream that way you catch future live streams on the channel and you don't see or you don't miss more of my face also consider checking out the youtube channel youtube.com slash silent whisperer i just uploaded a video over there today for your enjoyment and we're going to end by raiding someone, as we always do. So stick around for just a moment. And who is there? We got Joe Hill streaming. We got Tango Tech streaming. We never see him live. That's great. Who do you guys want to raid? We got Joe and Tango. Tango Tech. Uh, also, if you haven't, then consider joining our Discord server as well. Link is up there in the chat, discord.gg slash silentwhisper. You can also follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash silentwhisper underscore. There's an underscore because someone stole my name. And then yeah, subscribe to Silent too, youtube.com slash silent wo. <laughs> uh, Tango Tech is playing Plate Up. I don't know what game that is. Uh, it looks like a cooking game. That's, that's going to be utter chaos. I like it. Anyway. Tell them where you came from. Some hashtag silence with some raid pitagos. Don't spam their chat too much. And if you enjoy their content, then of course drop a follow on their channel so you see more of it. And otherwise, I'll see you guys over there and in the next live stream. I'll be streaming again on... What day is it? I'll be streaming again on Saturday, 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard, 8.30 Eastern, late UK, early Australian. Love your faces and I'll see you later.